US just tested two successful hypersonic missiles. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has conducted the first demonstration of a ground-launched hypersonic missile system as part of the Operational Fires program. The news follows yesterday's second successful test of the Air Force's ARRW hypersonic missile booster. DARPA announced today that the Operational Fires, Op Fires, program was tested at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. DARPA said the system fulfilled all test goals. As part of this test operation, the United States Army Inventory Artillery Fire Control Systems were used for the first time, and a 10-wheel Logistics Vehicle System Replacement LVSR, vehicle was used for the first time to launch medium-range missiles. DARPA published a video of the test with the announcement that shows all of these phases. Lockheed Martin led the test. The full system incorporates Northrop Grumman's rocket booster. The rocket booster and unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicle warhead are used to drive the boost glide vehicle to its desired speed and altitude. Once the criteria are reached, the vehicle detaches from the rocket and glides to its hypersonic destination. The boost glide vehicle's speed, level flight path, and maneuverability are all impressive. DARPA said that the test was successful and that additional program parts, including the first stage rocket motor, missile canister, and missile round pallet, were verified MRP. The release says that using a palletized launcher will get rid of the need for a custom-made Op Fires transporter erector launcher, telephone. The Op Fires program aims to enable the missile to be fired from other US military vehicles than the LVSR. DARPA proposed Army Logistical Vehicles as potential launch platforms, which might include palletized load system trucks, similar to the Marine Corps LSVR, 